Hello everyone, Andy Raphael from eTechniques.com and it's time for a serious video. Whoa. Right, um, yeah, generally we've sort of looked at things and we know that you guys want us to do more videos again so that's what we're doing uh, yesterday, which is actually today because I'm recording it, I'll work that one out. Um, I'm recording it today but this is going to be released tomorrow, which if you're watching it now is actually today. See what I did there? Um, basically we did a video yesterday showing about our new test machines um, what SSDs we're going to be using and then straight afterwards we recorded this video which is now being shown today. So enough of the confusion um, today we're going to be looking at uh, a, a video review. I know it's been ages since we've done it the last sort of videos we've done have been event coverage and things like that but I don't do component reviews anymore I focus on the video side of things which is all good for me and it's all good for you guys because you get to see both sides of it. So. The way this is going to sort of work is the video reviews is going to they're going to focus on the aesthetics of a product, how it looks, just a general sort of technical side of it. Whereas the actual written review is really going to delve into the technical side, the specs and things like that. Um, but I will sort of you know touch on them very very lightly. So today we're looking at this beast, which is the X Effect Radeon 7950 Black Edition Overclocked with the uh, double dissipation cooler, as I, or as I like to call it, the double Ds. Yeah. Um, so basically, uh, XFX 7950 is the new card that was launched today uh, from AMD. Obviously 7970 came out in uh, December, and everyone was really sort of keen to see what performance that could come up with, and it did come up with some really, really great performance results, and everyone was really, really happy. Um, the only problem is obviously price a little bit, which is quite... Uh, out of character for AMD, they're normally the more competitive when it comes to pricing, but it does offer a lot of performance for a single GPU card. Uh, obviously when you compare it to the GTX 580, the 7970 blew it out of the water. And the 7950 that we're going to be looking at today is said really to do the same kind of thing. It's going to be positioned, they're saying, between the 7950 and uh, between the GTX 580 and the 7970. So it's just really going to give you similar performance to 7970 while still beating the GTX 580 but for a better price point. Now, price point on this particular one it's still quite expensive. I mean, this is an overclocked edition. It's got a double dissipation cooler and it's a black edition as well, which does give you some perks. But you're still looking at about £420, which is a lot for a single GPU graphics card. I mean, yeah, you could go for something like a 6990, but it's slightly older technology, but you do get better performance being a dual GPU card. But trust me, I've got a 6990 and I've now got a uh, Accelero cooler coming from Arctic Cooling because it's noisy, it overheats, and it's just... It's an okay card, but 7900 series is obviously going to be better, and we should be seeing a dual GPU version very, very soon. So enough of me rambling on. Uh, really, it's time to have a look at this and sort of take it from there. So I'm going to get off here, and I'm going to grab the camcorder so you can see exactly what's going on as if it was coming from my very own eyes. So... 7950 from XFX. We haven't looked at any XFX products in quite some time now, so it's uh, quite refreshing that we get to, to have that chance again. So XFX 7950. This is the retail packaging that's going to come in. Nothing really too fancy. Um, looks very similar to what we've seen from HIS in the past, but obviously XFX. Um, where we haven't looked at anything of theirs in quite a while, they have changed things slightly. So it's the Radeon 7950 Black Edition. Black Edition basically means you're part of like a select club, um, so you get a few little perks in terms of uh, sort of warranty support and things like that. It's overclocked as well, and the standard clock on this card, uh, normal 7950 standard clock, is 800 megahertz. This has actually been clocked to 900, uh, which is quite a quite a good overclock, and obviously that's why they've strapped the double dissipation heater on there, um, which, as you can see, it does give you, give you a little bit of blurb about that anyway, and it's uh, very much like a vapor chamber cooling technology. Three gig of memory, um, so they, they've done the same with this as they have done with the 7970, giving you three gig of memory, so you can really get that better results when it comes to uh, higher resolutions, and especially with us, because we look at things like iAffinity. So moving around to the side, we can see what it does here is really just uh, talk through some of the main features. So we've got things like iFinity, how you can use triple monitors, um, GPU edging, Black Edition selection process, and what the Black Edition actually means uh, in terms of obviously other sort of perks you get is they hand pick um, the the best components really um, to give to you so that they can actually meet these maximum overclocks instead of just a factory overclock, and that's why they can push this to 900, uh, which is great, and 
other things that we're going to be looking at, obviously you've got the five star support like we said uh, with the warranties. Uh, on the back, lots of information here against um, sort of DirectX 11 and what that can offer you, which we all know um, now anyway. The specially um, selected components and the fact that uh, you get solid capacitors, which is always good. Um, accelerate and exformance, so you're really getting that extra bandwidth that you'd expect from a card like this. And then on the side, just a whole list of key features. You can find all this information on XFX's website. Um, it is worth knowing that the part number is FX795A TDBC because there are very, very similar models uh, with sort of a single fan, dual fan, black edition, non black edition, that kind of thing. So if we open things up, which is always not very easy to do when you've only got one hand when you're operating the camcorder. But um, there you go. So the inside still looks very same, samey to what uh, I remember from XFX. Open it up, we can have a look inside that we have a HDMI to DVI adapter, dual link. Um, crossfire bridge, if you have got more money than cents and you want to uh, get a couple of these. There's a short sort of brief catalogue of, of products and things like that in here. Um, in terms of their power supplies, because as we know, XFX do power supplies as well. And also inside, we get this wonderful, they still do it, do not disturb, I'm gaming door hanger. So you can put that on your door. And the handy thing with this is it comes with all your serial number and uh, support information on there as well. So that's uh, always handy to have. Opening this side up, we can see that they give you another sort of brief catalogue about their products, including different low profile kits, various adapters, cables and things like that. Quick install guide comes included. The XFX hardware limited warranty card. Driver CD and install guide that we do recommend getting the latest drivers from the AMD website. And also here is the actual driver installation CD. So you get the guide as well as the CD. And in here, this is something that I've always thought is uh, quite cool that I've seen with black edition cards in the past. And that's their little uh, case badge sticker which just looks and feels better quality compared to any other case badge sticker that I've ever seen in my life. So there you go, that's all the accessories that come with it. So uh, all we've got left now is obviously the card itself. So this comes in an anti-static bag as you'd expect. And if we take this out, you can see this is the card itself. So I'm just gonna move some of this uh, packaging over so we can have a, a proper sort of look at what's going on here. So, this is the XFX 7950 Black Edition overclocked with the double D cooler or dual dissipation. So straight away we can see that we've got two fans on the top here and everything really does look like it's fantastic build quality. And um, straight away we can see with the various different colours with the silver and the black and this is all made out of a, a metal that straight away it's going to be uh, fantastic for cooling uh, or so we hope. Obviously we're going to sort of forward you over to our written review where you can see for yourself how this performs in terms of uh, acoustic value and heat dissipation which it should be good at. So other than that you can see underneath it has got a vapour chamber design and uh, on the top it mentions sort of the ghost technology. Also on the top we can see that we've got two six pin PCI Express power adapters and uh, as we explained, it does come with a crossfire bridge because it has two connectors. So you can look at putting this into dual crossfire or tri -cross crossfire or even quad crossfire. So uh, loads of possibilities there and uh, just don't tell your wife because uh, I'm pretty sure they'd kill you afterwards. Um, connection wise, we can see that we have uh, a dual link um, DVI port, HDMI and two mini display ports. Um, obviously it comes with a HDMI to DVI and then you've got your, your normal dual link DVI as well. You can get the adapters to go into mini display port which will obviously enable you to, to do things like Affinity. Then up here we've just got a, a lot of uh, ventilation grills with the XFX um, sort of stamped into the metal. So that's pretty much the card and um, we're going to be chucking this into our test rig um, on the uh, Maximus 4 Extreme Z. Um, Z68 system that we use for all our graphics card reviews and seeing exactly how this performs. So um, what I'd say is stay tuned and uh, we'll get them results over to you um, very very shortly. Um, probably not in the video but what we'll do is direct you in the description box if you're watching this on YouTube we'll direct you over to the uh, performance of how things are doing uh, in our written review where we look into this card in a lot more detail, more technical minded Whereas this review uh, has really been more about the aesthetics and how the card looks. So uh, yeah, head over to there and uh, hopefully uh, you can let us know what you think.